Hello, I'm Sean Galloway. I'd like to share some thoughts on one of our workshops, Safety Committee Development, Establishing Representation, Focus, and Visible Progress. In this workshop, we would like to share with you our experiences in working with hundreds of safety committees and safety teams around the world. We've helped establish some of the most effective teams, and we'd like to help you go back into your organization and do the same. We'd like to focus on representation. Do you have the right people involved? Are they willing participants, volunteers, or have they been identified and nominated, voluntolds? Do you have the right people involved regardless of level or in representing area of your organization? Are they showing up because they really want to be involved or are they involved because they're told they have to be involved? What are they focusing on? One of the things that a lot of safety committees have in common is the opportunity to focus on the right things. Sometimes the decisions are being made by opinion, but are they driven by data? So we want to help you make sure that your organization is focusing on the right things and continuously identifying the most transformational things for them to focus on and celebrate those results. Now, the other thing that a lot of committees have in common is the need to brag on themselves. I know sometimes that it's that it's not polite to brag about your results, but the thing is, is that if nobody knows the results of the safety committee, they're going to view that team or that committee as ineffective. Who wants to join a team that's viewed as ineffective? It's also been known that showing progress towards a goal and making that progress visible is one of the most effective motivators in a workplace setting. So are they showing great results and are they communicating those results? And can anyone in your organization, when asked, what are the last three successes of your safety committee? Can they give you a great response? I'm Terry Mathis and I'd like to tell you some of the things that you can do with this workshop that Sean just described. Number one, you can put a safety committee together if you don't already have one. Or number two, you can really make the safety committee you already have fabulously more effective. But I wanted you to think not just do you have the right people, the representation, the focus, and uh, focus on visible progress, as Sean mentioned to you, but how does this committee think of themselves? What do they think of their responsibilities? Now, here's a great one for you. What does the workforce think about this committee? Do they think, those are my representatives, those are my safety champions that are going to help me be better in safety? Now, we talk a lot of times about the characteristics a committee ought to have. Let's talk about the capabilities. Is this a can-do committee? Are they out there accomplishing things for you, or are they just wasting your time and effort by holding a lot of meetings where nothing gets done? It can go either way, and this workshop can tell you how to make it go the way you want it to go. Look forward to seeing you there, or if you'd like a private workshop, contact us.